Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Now I'm gonna show you something real quick. Watch this. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter one and verse one. Uh -huh. Check it out. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Unto who? All Israel. So who was Moses speaking to in the wilderness? He just unto all Israel. Give me Exodus chapter four, verse six. You say Moses is a white man, right? I'm gonna show you a miracle that God showed Moses to show to our people so that they could believe that God actually sent him. I'm gonna Bring show you here a black man. Watch this. Man. This is the book of Exodus, chapter four and verse six. Uh -huh. Bring it and the Lord said, furthermore unto him, put now thy hand unto thy bosom. So the Lord told Moses, put your hand into your bosom, yeah. meaning he told Moses to put his hand into his garment like this. Read. And he put his hand unto his bosom. So Moses put his hand into his garment, read. And when he took it out. And when he plucked out his hand, now there was a miracle yeah. that God was showing Moses, read. Behold, it, his hand was leprous as snow. So when Moses took his hand out of his bosom, it changed colors. It went from one color to another color. It was leprous as snow. What color is snow? White. White. What color is snow, uh, twin? White. So he put his hand in there and he yeah. brought it out. And it, and it changed colors. Now watch this, read. Verse seven, and he said, put thy hand into thy bosom again. So he, he said, put your hand back into your garment, read. And he put his hand into his bosom again uh -huh. and plucked it out of his bosom. So Moses put it back in there and then he plucked it, he pulled it back out. And behold, it was, it was turned again as his other flesh. So now it turned back to the original color it was. What two colors we know on this earth that people is? Black and so what color was Moses? Black. He was a black man. That's hey, right. We gotta know that. So if Moses was black and he was a Levite from the trap from the nation of Israel, what you think the Israelites look like? Black. They put that movie out there. The, the white man. If when you look at the movies, they everybody. That's right. They the Persians when you watch 300. They the Greeks. They the Israelites. They everybody. They the Indians. They everybody. But Moses was a black man. That's now we don't see right. how his, who his people was. Go back to Deuteronomy 28. I want you to understand that, bro. This Bible was written by black people. Yes, that's right. the, the Israelites. We say black because that's what our people know, but they was the children of Israel. Moses wrote the first five books in the Bible. That's right. Ain't no white man write this book. Bring it out. You understand? Read. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass. So this was a future prophecy that Moses was speaking to the children of Israel. He said something's going to happen in the future. Read. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. So he told the children of Israel, if y'all don't listen and keep the commandments that's written in this book, something gonna happen in the future, read. That all these curses, that all these what? Curses. Shall what? Shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So now is a curse a good thing or a bad thing? Is it good or bad? It's a bad thing. Let's prove that. Give me Daniel real quick. I'm gonna prove that a curse is a bad thing. He said, because understand, it's two things dealing with God. It's either good or bad, blessing or curses. That's it. You understand? So which one did we get? Watch this. Daniel 9 11. It's the book of Daniel, chapter 9 and verse 11. Bring it out. Yay. All Israel have transgressed thy, thy law. So all Israel, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we all broke the commandments of God. Right. Read. Even by departing, uh -huh. that they might not obey thy voice. Read. Therefore, the curse is poured out upon us. The what? The curse is poured upon us. So the curse, when you look around, look at look at this neighborhood. Look at this. Trash everywhere. I'm gonna reach, I'm gonna read that's in the Bible. God said that the curse is poured upon us. And the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of God. Read. 
Because we have sinned against him. Because we have what? Sinned against him. We got to understand that the reason why we're in these conditions is because we sinned against God. And we're going to find out what sin is. Before y'all leave, you've been to church before, right? You've been to church? You ain't never, this right here, in the let, look, 10, 20 minutes you stay right here, you're going to learn more than what you ever learned in church in your whole life. Watch Bring this. I want you to finish reading that. Read. Verse 12. And he have confirmed his words, which is faith against us uh -huh. and against our judges that judge us Read. by bringing upon us a great evil. What did God do? A great evil. A what? A great evil. That's the curse that's poured upon us, a great evil. Is slavery evil? That's an evil thing that's brought upon us by God. God did it. Because you got to sit back and ask yourself, how can we be the greatest in everything in this country, but the white man was able to take us and put us in slavery? How is they ruling over us today if we created everything in this country? You understand what I'm saying? It's not by coincidence. God did it. And we're going to read it. Read. For under the whole heaven have not been done has have been done upon Jerusalem uh -huh. so the things that happened on this earth has never happened to anybody else on this earth like it happened to the so-called blacks Hispanics and Native Americans that's, that's right. what that's talking about go back to Deuteronomy the 28th chapter now we gonna get into this real quick read 15 again the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15 Bring it out. but it shall come to pass A future prophecy something gonna happen in the future read if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments so the, the stipulation was if we didn't keep the commandments read and his statutes read. which I command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee so God said Ma out, through bro. Moses God said, all these bad things gonna happen to you if you break the commandments. Verse 16. Verse 16. Curse shall thou be in the city, uh -huh. and curse shall thou be in the field. So now it says, curse shall thou be in the city, and curse shall thou be in the field. What fields were we cursed in? Bring it up. What do they have us doing in the fields? Our ancestors. Picking pick cotton. Picking sugar cane. Yeah. God said that bad things was gonna happen to us in the field. Right. You understand that? That's yeah. talking about slavery. Right. If we break God's commandments, if we go against this Bible, we was gonna be brought into slavery picking cotton. That's right. That's right. It out. Read it again. Curse shall thou be in the city, and curse shall thou be in the field. So let's deal with the city part. Was we cursed during the time of slavery in the cities? Right? We built the houses and they had us sleeping in the basements. They had us sleeping in the barns. Teach. With the horses. With the animals. Right. We was getting shot down in slavery back at that time, right? You seen that movie, uh, with Nat Turner, what was the name of that movie? Birth of a Nation. Birth of a Nation. You seen that movie? Remember, uh, Nat Turner was riding a horse. He was riding his slave around. And then he rode up on a, on a brother that was shot, had his whole head blew off. Why? Because he was trying to escape. So we was cursing the city back at that time too. You understand what I'm saying? We had to go to them for everything that we needed. That's not a good thing. That's talking about us. Now let's see if, let's see if we still curse the city. Read it again. Curse shall thou be in the city. Are we cursing the city today? Look at our neighborhood, just look around. Trash on the ground everywhere. Gang banging, drugs. Little kids getting killed. Bring it over, over the, a, few, a few days ago, there was so many kids killed, it ain't make no sense. You people ain't even feeling confident to send their kids outside. Why? Because they know a lot of murder going on here in this city. Right. You understand? Over four, five hundred people got shot in July alone in Chicago. Teach. That's a curse. We don't own none of the stores in our community. Is that good or bad? Yeah. That's a bad thing. God said we're going to be cursing the city because we broke his commandments. I'm going to read a couple more of these curses. Verse 48. Bring it out. Verse 48. Therefore, shalt thou serve thy enemies. Because we didn't want to serve God. God said we're going to serve our enemies. Watch this. Read. Which the Lord shall sin against thee. Read. In hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in want of all things. Read. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Hey, let me get that sign real quick. That yoke of iron. What people had yokes of iron on their neck? Yeah. Sis, what people had yokes of iron on their necks? Black people, right? During the time of slavery. Right here, we got some signs right here. Right here. Come and look at this right here. When did this happen to us? When we had chains on our necks. 
What time period was that? What time period was that? Twin? Rob, right? What time period was that? We was in what? When we had chains on our necks? Huh? What What was going on when we had chains on our necks? In the 17th century. What, what, what was we called at that time? Slaves. That's right. Slavery. We were slaves. So watch this. This how you know. This how you prove that we are the people of this book. That's we right. are the children of Israel. That's the right. greatest people on the earth. Right. The only reason why we're going through the things we're going through today is because we broke the commandments. That's right. We broke the commandments. But when we come back and keep the commandments, the Lord has promised us that he's going to give us power over the nations. That's That's right. Right. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Read the verse again. Therefore shall thou serve thy enemies. So I want y'all to understand. He said we're going to serve who, sir? Enemies. Our enemies. Who put yokes of iron on our necks? The white man. So who he, who is he? He's our friend or our enemy? enemy. He's the enemy. Right. He's Jeez. the enemy. Who put guns in our neighborhood? The white man. Who put drugs in our neighborhood? The white man. Who separate the mother and the father in order for our people to get social, what, what's that called? Uh, low income, section eight. White Who man. said that the man can't be in the house? White man. Is that a friend? No. That's a what? Enemy. That's the enemy, brothers and Jeez. sisters. Bring it they up. are the enemy according to this Bible. Bring it up. Read it again. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger. So in the time of slavery, who do we get our food from? Who white fed us? Who fed us today? The white man. They own all the grocery stores. They own the food production companies. Yeah. Telling you that we're still in captivity today. Because right. we still go to him for our food. Right. Read. And it thirst. And when we wanted something to drink in slavery, who gave it to us? The white man. Who giving us Aquafina, uh, Mountain Ice, Pepsi, Coca-Cola? Who owned those companies? The white man. He controlled the water reservoir. If you don't pay your water bill, he cutting it off. Jeez. The white man is still in control of us because we don't want to do what this book says. That's, that's Read out. And in nakedness. And in nakedness. They gave us our clothes back then, right? They gave us rags. Right. Who own the textile companies today? The white man. We still get our clothes from him. It don't matter if JC got his own clothing company or Puff Daddy. Who they get their textiles from? The white man. Bring it out. We still in captivity. Read. And in what of all things? He said whatever we want. We got to get it from the white man. Who taught us religion? Who white taught us this image right here? White man. Who taught us that Jesus was white? White man. The white man did. Because the Bible say he's black. That's right, sis. The Bible say that Jesus Christ is a black man. That's right. He screamed black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.